For the last two years, I've been diving deep into the world of remote work, creating over 100 videos about different job categories and remote work opportunities. But today we're doing something special. I've sifted through countless opportunities to bring you the cream of the crop, 15 remote jobs that actually don't suck. Now, each one of these roles is more exciting than the last, and I'll tell you exactly why they've made the cut. So whether you're looking to ditch the commute or just want to upgrade your work from home game, stick around. And by the end of this video, you might just find your next career move. Now, let's dive into these remote jobs jobs that won't make you want to pull your hair out. Now, the first one on the list is going to be a content creator. And I know what you're thinking, Shane, isn't everyone a content creator these days? Well, sure, but not everyone's getting paid for it. So this one is perfect for those of you who can't shut up about your passions. Whether it's makeup tutorials or explaining quantum physics to five-year-olds, there's an audience out there for you. You can do it all from your mom's basement. So the reason why it doesn't suck is because you get paid to share what you love and your office is wherever you want it to be. And let me tell you folks, I've been creating content for most of my life. At 12 years old, I was uploading RuneScape videos to YouTube. Sure, they all got deleted for copyright infringement, but hey, we all gotta start somewhere, right? And little did I know, those cringy gaming videos were the first step on my journey to making 100K per month on YouTube. But of course, not all YouTubers are able to make 100K per month, which is why I created the Monetization Protocol, which is basically a comprehensive guide on how to properly monetize YouTube because almost no YouTubers do that. And you can check that out by clicking down the description and the pinned comment below. But yeah, being a content creator is undeniably awesome. Highly recommend it, although it does take some skill and it's not just like a job where you can just make money the next day. Next is going to be a controversial one, and I'm just gonna say it, it's customer service representative. Now, I know what you're thinking. Shane, customer service, really? But hear me out. This isn't your grandma's call center job. You're the frontline hero solving problems from your couch. Plus, you might even score some sweet performance bonuses. But yeah, with all joking aside, customer service representative is not the most glamorous job ever, but it's incredibly easy to land the job. So if you're in a position where you need to get a job right away, in fact, you can literally get a job as a 16 year old in many states. So this is a really good one just to get your foot in the door at working remote. And yes, some customer service jobs are going to be much better than others. So make sure you do your research on that. Now, customer service reps are typically pulling in about thirty-six dollars to $50,000 a year. And yeah, that's not yacht money, but hey, it's honest work from your couch. Next is going to be a tech sales representative. And if you're a smooth talking tech nerd, then this one is going to be for you because you're gonna be selling software faster than Apple releases new iPhone models. And it's kind of like being a digital snake oil salesman, but the products actually work. Well, sometimes. Now, the reason this doesn't suck is because you get to geek out about tech and make money doing it. And tech sales reps are typically cashing in about $69,000 to $122,000 a year. So selling gadgets and gizmos is quite a lucrative gig, it seems. And all joking aside, you're not always just selling gadgets and gizmos. A lot of the time, you're going to be selling software. And a lot of the time, you're going to be selling it to other businesses. So this is what's known as a B2B position, typically. But with that being said, tech sales is absolutely one of the best careers you can possibly get into. And there's tons of people on this channel that I I've actually interviewed that have gotten into this. And if you wanna know exactly how they did that, there's actually a free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below that will tell you exactly how to get into it. Next is going to be a digital marketing associate. So attention social media addicts and meme connoisseurs, here is your chance to turn unhealthy screen time into a paycheck because you're gonna be crafting posts, analyzing trends and making brands look cooler than they actually are. Now, the reason this one doesn't suck is because you're basically getting paid to be on social media all day and your boss can't complain about it. And these digital marketing folks are scoring between forty-seven and seventy-two thousand dollars a year, and that's a lot of avocado toast. Am I right? So yeah, this one's pretty solid. Next is going to be a YouTube scriptwriter, and if you got a knack for making people laugh, cry, or rage smash the like button, which you guys definitely should do on this video, then this might be your calling. And you'll be crafting narratives that keep viewers hooked and coming back for more. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility to create clickbait titles. Now the reason this doesn't suck is because you're basically a puppet master of emotions, pulling viewer strings from behind the scenes. Now. Now, I've written more YouTube scripts than I can count. And remember when I told you about my failed channels on self-development, study skills, pharmacy topics, etc.? Yeah, those were painful, but they taught me what works and what doesn't. Now, I'm basically the Shakespeare of YouTube scripts, minus the fancy collar. So YouTube script writers are banking between forty-nine dollars to $89,000 annually, and that's a pretty sweet deal for putting words in other people's mouths. Now, you're probably thinking, how do I get started as a YouTube script writing genius? Well, here's the thing. Writing scripts is only one piece of the puzzle. To really succeed on YouTube, you need to master the trifecta 
trifecta, which is eye-catching thumbnails, irresistible video titles, and engaging intros. But don't worry, I've put all of this into a simple actionable guide for you. You can download the free YouTube crash course down below, and it'll walk you through everything you need to create content that grabs attention and skyrockets your channel's success. Yep, I've got lots of free presents for you guys today. Next is going to be a virtual assistant. So imagine being the behind the scenes mastermind for entrepreneurs who can't tie their own shoelaces. From managing emails to scheduling their lives, you're basically running the show. And the best part, you can do it all while binge watching your favorite shows. Now, the reason why it doesn't suck is because you're the secret boss and no one even knows it. And virtual assistants make $37,000 to $58,000 a year. Not too shabby for being the wizard behind the curtains, right? Next is going to be an online language teacher. And if you can string together sentences in another language, congrats, you're qualified. You'll be chatting with students worldwide and who knows, maybe you'll finally be able to understand what that tattoo you got in college actually means. Now, the reason why it doesn't suck is because you get to travel the world through your students without the jet lag. Now, online language teachers are scoring forty to $66,000 a year, which is not bad for teaching people how to order a beer in 17 different languages, right? Now, I know some of you are thinking, Shane, these all sound great for traveling the world, but hold your horses, globetrotters. That wasn't the promise of this video. If you want to know about jobs that let you travel, drop a comment saying, Shane, I want to be a digital nomad. Maybe I'll make that video next. But for now, let's get back to our comfy pants optional remote job options. Next is going to be a virtual bookkeeper. So are numbers your thing? Great, because someone's got to keep track of all those decimal points. You'll be the financial superhero small businesses never knew they needed. Just don't get any ideas about embezzlement, all right? Okay. Now, the reason why it doesn't suck is because you're basically a money wizard and everyone loves a wizard. And virtual bookkeepers are balancing their way to $44,000 to $67,000 a year. So it turns out being a numbers ninja actually pays off. Next is going to be an online tutor. And do you remember that one subject you were annoyingly good at in school? Well, it's time to cash in on that knowledge. You'll be helping students ace their exams and possibly saving some parents from a math-induced meltdown. Now, the reason why this doesn't suck is because you get to be the smartest person in the room. And the room is you being alone in your own house. Now, online tutors are banking $37,000 to $61,000 a year. That's a pretty sweet deal for explaining algebra in your pajamas. Next is going to be a virtual travel agent. And if you love planning trips but hate actually going on them, then this might be perfect for you. And you'll be living vicariously through your clients' vacations while sitting in your pajamas. And it's kind of like being paid to daydream about beaches and exotic locales. And the reason why it doesn't suck is because you're basically a vacation god, creating perfect getaways without dealing with sunburn or jet lag. Now, virtual travel agents are jet setting to $53,000 to $91,000 annually, and who knew planning other people's vacations could fund your own? Yeah, this one's pretty good. Next is going to be a community manager, and imagine being the cool teacher in a digital high school. You'll foster engagement faster than a cat video goes viral. Now, the reason why it doesn't suck is because you're the king or queen of your own little online kingdom, and community managers are raking in about forty-five dollars to $68,000 a year, which is not too shabby for being the cool teacher in the internet's classroom. Next is a customer experience associate, and in this position, you're the Jedi mind trick master of the business world. Your mission? To turn Karen's rage into a five-star review. So it's kind of like being a therapist, but for people angry about their late pizza delivery. Now, the reason why it doesn't suck is because you get to be a superhero, saving businesses from the wrath of angry customers. Now, in this position, you make about forty-two dollars to $58,000 a year, which is not bad for being the friendly face of a company. And the coolest thing about this one is you can move into this role after becoming a customer service representative. Next is going to be a junior cybersecurity analyst. So listen up, wannabe hackers who prefer to stay on the right side of the law. This gig is all about being the digital bouncer of the internet. You'll keep the bad guys out and the good data in. And the reason why it doesn't suck is you get to play cops and robbers, just like a kid, but in the cyberspace and without the risk of actual jail time. And in this position, you can make a whopping 90 to $159,000 a year. So it looks like fighting digital bad guys actually pays really well. So yeah, lots of opportunities in cybersecurity, but there is a big learning curve as well. Now, by the way, if you know somebody who would be perfect for one of these remote jobs, go ahead and share this video with with them because we need more warriors on the digital front line. Next is going to be a proofreader and editor because grammar Nazis rejoice. Your obsession with the Oxford comma can finally pay the bills. You'll save the world from embarrassing typos and make writers cry with your red pen of doom. Just try not to correct your friend's texts or you might not have any left. Now, the reason why this doesn't suck is because you get paid to be right all the time. And who doesn't love that? Now, when it comes to salary in this position, you'd make about forty six to seventy one thousand dollars a year. And it's highly dependent on what niche you choose. But who knew catching typos could fatten your wallet like that? Next is going to be a virtual personal trainer. Yep, this is a real thing, especially since the pandemic happened. And you can get ripped while making others, well, less ripped. You'll motivate couch potatoes to become slightly more active potatoes. And it's all the fun of being a gym bro without the smell of sweaty equipment. Now, the reason why this doesn't suck is you can eat pizza while telling others not to and they'll never 
never know. Now, personal trainers in general are flexing their way to about forty to sixty-nine thousand dollars a year, and so you could actually get paid to help others get fit. All joking aside. Now, if you're the type of person who wants to do a remote job, but you want to do it at night, I did make a video that went absolutely viral, almost a million views. And that went over the 19 work from home jobs that you actually can do the night shift on. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.